Hey guys, what's going on today? Um, so I haven't actually made a real video in a little bit. Um, not going to get into it. Uh, today I have a probably the cheapest, most affordable knife I've ever owned, or not ever owned. I've owned, you know, tons of knives that are way less expensive than this. Um, but it's probably, you know, one of the most affordable knives that uh, you guys will see on my channel. Um, I mean, I think it was $19, um, and that is the SOG, what is the, the Aegis FL, it's uh, basically, um, there's a, a higher end version of this same design, it has an FRN handle, it weighs like nothing, um, but has AUS-8, um, and I think it's assisted as well, uh, other than that, I couldn't tell you really what's different, I know the lock is um, it's almost like an access lock. I can't remember uh, what exactly they call it. Um, but this knife's, you know, I, I posted a picture on my Instagram and a lot of people seem to uh, not really be super impressed by this knife. But I have to say, um, honestly, and this, this might surprise some people, um, in terms of like the closest thing I could compare it to in terms of what else I own in terms of like just the way the lock disengages um, how it feels opening and closing is um, this I mean th this feels much higher quality uh, it's a little bit lighter it's a titanium handle this of course being the Spidey Chef uh, it's got LC200N a um, little bit different of a steel um, but in terms of like overall construction uh, that's probably, out of the knives I have here today, um, what comes closest to it. And believe it or not, this example, perfectly centered. You guys can see that? Yeah, right there. Nice thin tip. Uh, I did just sharpen this. Um, it's at currently, I think I put it at a 30 degree edge bevel if I'm not mistaken, um, or around 30, 15 per side, we'll say. Some people get all weird about their angles, but um, I just sharpened it up. Pretty typical, just used a DMT uh, 600 grit stone. Um, it sharpened up very nicely. The reason I bought this actually was for an 8CR13 MOV test bed. So this is uh, 8CR13 MOV. That's a steel that I really actually grew to like, um, especially when I was younger. Um, it's a steel. It definitely, um, people, people underestimate steels like that. Uh, people underestimate 440C. People underestimate, um, what else is there? 420 HC. People underestimate a lot of things. Um, and I have to say, I haven't used this too much. This is just sort of my first impressions. Um, I don't know. It sharpened up very well. Uh, you know, no issues there. I think I had more issues with um, that southern grind. Just not wanting to, um, you know, deburr for whatever reason. Um, and that knife was, you know, 200 and whatever dollars, $210. Uh, this had no issues. Um... Yeah, so stainless steel handle. Um, honestly, in terms of uh, like the jimping right here, when I first got into knives, uh, a lot of you guys know like the Sabenza, that S30V version of the Sabenza, that original had like a very similar um, texture. <laughs> Not that these are even close to being on the same level. It's just, uh, you know, when I saw that in the store, it reminded me of that um so um all in all super smooth super fast uh the clip is actually really nice um i don't care for deep carry that's i guess one thing that i do have to say i don't like about this um i mean the handle doesn't offer you know phenomenal uh texture and uh guys like i i don't need a ton of texture you know like even you know this it's not high traction G10 from Cold Steel, you know, um, but with a deep carry clip that, that that's, uh, 
you know, that strong. Like th this is a pretty, pretty uh, gnarly clip. Um, I just like having a little bit more texture. Um, but yeah, other than that, I really do like the blade shape. Um, for me, it it's almost like a kitchen knife. Um, it also reminds me of actually a lot of spider co's. It almost reminds me of a spider co without a hole, if that makes any sense. Like, um, kind of a more slimline, tenacious blade shape. Um, so if you can imagine, like the spider hole would be right here, and they add that extra spine um, or extra, you know, width to the blade. Uh, it's almost like they just, you know, put a thumb stud on there instead. Um, so in terms of size, let's see, here's a PM2. Fairly similar in, let's see, just so I can see it. Not too far off. I mean, this has a little bit more cutting edge than the PM2 by like a hair, like not much at all. Um, but I mean, overall size, uh, PM2 has a little bit longer of a handle. Um, and in terms of blade length, blade length is identical. Um, and what else? Here's a ZT0562. Um, this is the regular, you know, S35. Handles, very similar in size. Um, super duper similar. I gotta make sure I'm staying on camera. Um, so you can see there. Um, and then in terms of blade, uh, this has more cutting edge and length. Um, so, I don't know if you can see that. Um, this I just got, I think I made a video on it. I got it for, uh, from a buddy of mine on Instagram, a great guy, amazing. He sent it to me for nothing. He, he was just like, hey man, you know, heard what happened, I just wanna send you a knife. And I was like, fuck. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pay him for it anyway. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so one thing I do like about this is the, the jimping on it is very minimal. Um, it's not like aggressive or anything. Uh, people know I complain about the Paratus jimping. Um, it doesn't hurt. It's just I don't need it. Um, you know, I, I'd rather have something more of like indexing so I know where I'm at uh, on the blade. Um, you know, let's see. Like this, this is a 0350. The jimping on this locks you in. It's not aggressively sharp. If you don't want to lock in, it's fine. You don't like, you have to, you know, really push into it for it to engage. Um, and that's kind of what I prefer in terms of uh, ergonomics. But um, the frame lock on this is actually built fairly well. Um, it does have a rather large gap uh, in between the actual, you know, liner and the. Uh, liner side i gotta stay on camera here um which i guess a couple knives have you know similar sized gaps i it doesn't really make a difference quite honestly like if a lot of zts they use uh wire edm technology so it's uh pretty small but all in all i really do like this knife i mean for 20 bucks like I don't know, guys. Um, when I got into knives, you couldn't get a nice knife for 20 bucks. Um, I mean, the, the value Kershaw line was just starting to come up. Um, the Tenacious. I remember when the fucking Tenacious came out. Like, oh my God. it's it, This community has come such a long way. Uh, like... <laughs> A lot of you guys don't even know, but a good portion of you have been in the community since before there was, you know, any social media and it was, um, you know, just a couple guys on YouTube, a bunch of guys on blade forms. Um, yeah, but the community has grown tremendously. Um, so getting back to this knife, super slim in the pocket, 
overall, uh, for me, if I was going to pick, well, actually, I'm going to revoke whatever I was about to say, just because I don't handle a lot of high value knives. So I don't know quite where they're at today, but I can tell you, um, you know, I carry mostly 200 plus dollar knives and I'm, you know, fairly impressed with this knife, you know, um, like, uh, it's, it's pretty thin behind the edge. Um, I mean, I'd say it's thinner than a PM2 for sure, but that, that's not even saying much. Um, yeah, to me, it's just, it feels solid. Um, it's super slicey, nice, precise tip on there. Um, I don't know in terms of a $20 knife, I don't know what more you could ask for. If anything, how would I make this knife better for me? Let me think about that for a sec. Honestly, maybe make this scale G10 or just make the whole thing into a G10 liner lock. Um, but other than that, I mean, I prefer liner locks to a frame lock. That's not a strength thing. I just, it's preference. Um, either way, I don't care. I prefer a frame lock and liner lock to pretty much any other lock. Um, so it's, it's all about preference guys. There's no right or wrong here. Uh, but I have to say super impressed with this knife. Um, <laughs> a lot of people seem to not like it. So I'm not going to tell you guys, like, just go out and buy one. And if you don't like it, go fucking blow up my Instagram and tell me I'm an, you know, an idiot or whatever. Uh, definitely handle one in the store. Um, but all in all, I have to say, um, if it were me and I had 20 bucks to spend on a knife, I mean, without a doubt, it would be this. I, I can't even think of another knife that is $20, um, that I would trust. Um, maybe a couple of the Kershaw's, but I don't know if you guys have handled the, the newer value, value line Kershaw's, but, uh. I think they may have slipped a little in terms of quality, but uh, I'm just going to give you guys a nice close-up focus. Let's see, so it is flow-through. You can see, eh, kind of cheap standoffs, but I mean, it's fucking $20, you know, so I don't know how much you, how much more you can want. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it almost reminds me of a uh, larger version of the CRKT Drifter. Um, I actually really like that knife as well. So, I don't know. Between that and the CRKT Drifter, those are really the only two high-quality knives I could think of for, you know, that kind of money. Um, I don't know. I'd say it's pretty neck and neck. I kind of like this blade shape a little bit more. But, um, yeah. Overall, I have to say, super impressed. And I'm not a big saw guy either. This is actually the first saw I've ever owned. Um, and, you know, I, I feel like saw gets a bad rap after ha handling this. Um, maybe it's me. Maybe they, you know, their knives aren't the best. Um, a lot of their FRN handled ones have tremendous blade play. But I have to say, up and down and side to side, this knife is, like, pretty solid. Side to side... It's, it's not that there's play, it's more that there's just flex. It's really, really weird. I, I, I haven't handled a knife that has that, but, um, yeah. So, I, I, if you haven't handled the knife, I definitely handle it. Um, if you're on a budget and you're looking for, you know, your next knife, this might be it. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be knocking out a bunch of videos tonight and probably tomorrow uh so stay tuned guys uh i my uh, ex-girlfriend actually stole my wi-fi router so uh i'm not going to be able to upload all the time but i'm going to like knock out a bunch of videos and then upload them and then you guys can just spam watch them uh or maybe i'll put them as private and then i'll you know as the hours go on i'll you know make them public but all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I will see you in the next.
Bye.